So Apple just dropped a brand new 21 inch 4K iMac and as tempting as those pixels may be, these are five things you should know before picking one up. So what's up guys, Jonathan here and the first thing you should know is that Apple just committed its second tech crime in the past month, the first being the 16 gigabyte iPhone and the second being a 5400 RPM hard drive in the new 4K Retina iMac. Now mechanical hard drives as a whole should die or at the very least the ones you boot from. 7200 RPM drives you could deal with but 5400 is like watching paint dry, especially on a premium machine. As far as how that affects performance, it's gonna slow down boot times, loading applications and after just a few minutes with this, some tasks were painfully slow. On the positive though, at least I have a Retina Beach bottle to look at. So what it boils down to, at the very least, you should opt for the Fusion equipped model. If you go into your Apple store and they don't have it, do not buy the base model. Make sure they order it, order online, whatever you do, do not do 5400 RPM. Next up, and the second thing you should know is how the display actually works. For starters, it's kind of a weird resolution, which is 4096 by 2304, which is just slightly larger than Cinema 4K. Now I guarantee you someone out there will comment, why would I want such a high resolution on a screen that small? The text and the icons, they're gonna look like ants, but this is how it works. What Apple does is take all those pixels, 9.4 million to be exact, and for every pixel of real estate, they cram four pixels in there, which results in a super crispy, vivid image. So by default, it's gonna look like 2048 by 1152, so slightly more real estate than a 1080p screen. You also have the option to scale to 2304 by 1296, which is a little bit weird. And then lastly, 2560 by 1440, which is what you would see on most 27 inch monitors. On top of that, one of the improvements they made to the 27 inch Retina iMac was the display itself. So now there's a 25% wider color gamut and the same thing applies to this iMac here. All in all, if you think higher resolution screens are a waste of money or if you've never checked one out in person, do yourself a favor because they look really good. Following that, the third thing you should know is that the RAM is not user upgradable. You can do so on the 27 inch iMac, but with the 21 inch iMac, you are locked down to with what you order. So with that, you can max this thing out with 16 gigabytes of RAM, no 32 gigabyte option. It's gonna cost you 200 bucks. So I really don't know with this kind of machine if that's worth it. But if you wanted to up the RAM, that option is there. Fourth up is the fact that there is no dedicated graphics option whatsoever on the 4K 21 inch iMac. Yes, I understand integrated graphics on the baseline model fine, but if you wanted to max this thing out, I would expect some sort of dedicated graphics, especially on a high resolution screen. Following that, that kind of leads me into my fifth point, and that's the fact that I don't think the i7 is worth the upgrade over the i5. Right off the bat, if you upgrade the Fusion Drive, that is 1600 bucks. If you pop on another 200 for the CPU, you're getting really close to 27 inch Retina territory. And in that case, not only are you getting better performance, you're getting dedicated graphic options, and more importantly, a bigger screen with more resolution. So if you haven't noticed yet, there's definitely a theme with this iMac. Yes, get the Fusion Drive, but save your money on everything else. And if you wanna upgrade it and max it out, put that towards a 27 inch iMac. You're gonna get a much better bang for your buck. Aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video and it saved you from a tragic 5400 RPM hard drive purchase. If you're ready for the review and you wanna see that, make sure you go Mariah Carey hitting a high note on that like button. If you guys have any questions, definitely drop me a line down below. I do try to reply to as many as possible or you can hit me up on Twitter and Snapchat. This is Jonathan and I will catch you guys later.